Welcome to the final stop on our tour, Venues, Blogs, and Profiles. Let's start with the Venue page located on the main menu. But before we go there, notice the two entries under Recently Viewed. Our drop-down menus remember the last three items you viewed in each category, providing a shortcut for returning. Click on the name to go to that page. So now, let's go to search. We've created a database of 25,000 venues across the U.S. and Canada. It includes all categories of places that play live music like restaurants and bars, churches and schools, and performance halls. The filter acts like a search box if you are trying to find a specific venue. Enter the name and click Go to Search. It also acts as a filter on cities if you're looking for a place to play in a new town. Combine the filter and category to narrow your search even further. The top section of the venue page provides a variety of information, including the address, phone number, and website, along with the hours of operation and types of music played there. Each venue has its own feed where musicians can leave comments to help future performers deal with any unique issues for the venue or maybe even recommend a menu item for after the gig. Click through on the embedded Google Map for directions. The other place you will encounter venues is when creating a new event. The easy way to enter the location is to start typing the name and look for the venue in the list. Simply click if you see it and you're good to go. If you no longer match any entries in the database, the suggested venues will disappear and a Create Location button will appear. Click that to create a new venue. Enter the name, address, phone, and website and select the category of the location. The Google Map location should show up automatically. The very last item is the Public Private Selector. If you're entering a location where others may play, then select Public. This will help everyone who plays there save time on data entry. If this is a private space, then leave it private and only you will be able to see it on your next search. Save and close this venue and continue with the event edit. One final feature of venues is the upcoming events on the venue detail page. If you want to know the next time your band is playing that particular venue, you can see it right on the venue listing. From time to time we publish articles about the music industry in general in our blog, but also recipes on how to accomplish specific goals using Musicians Guild. Look in your homepage feed for notifications about new blog entries. Finally, let's point out a few important items on the profile. Edit your profile via the Options menu item. Each of these tabs contain more information about you. Please cycle through these and complete your profile. Notice that every line has a visibility setting that you control. You can keep it public, restrict visibility to Musicians Guild members, your direct connections, or make it private. Another important page in your profile is Preferences. Most notably, you can fine-tune the types of emails and notifications you get in addition to the more privacy settings. Well, that was a lot to cover in this last video. Remember, if you need any help, just click the support button here or check to see if the maestro is online for a real-time consultation. Thanks again for joining, and on behalf of the entire Musicians Guild team, I want to wish you success and joy in all of your musical endeavors.